I'm Hillary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas, and welcome back to another episode on my YouTube channel. I love using this channel for educating other photographers more about business and photography. And this week's topic, I'm going to be talking about HoneyBook, my client management system, specifically taking you on a tutorial of how I use HoneyBook in my business every single day. HoneyBook, like I mentioned, is my client management system. I use it for sending questionnaires, collecting payments, sending contracts. I use it for scheduling different sessions with my clients, and I have a plethora of different email templates and services templates that I have created in HoneyBook. It's just basically a one-stop shop to everything client management. And I previously, a couple years ago, did a HoneyBook tutorial on how I use HoneyBook, but since there's so many new features that I love using today, I wanted to update the tutorial in this video. So here I am on the home page of my HoneyBook. Now over here, you can see projects that I have recently been working on that has new activity. So if I need to quickly access a session or a wedding or just a client project that I've been working on recently, I can access those here. Here is information about payments and that I have processing right now, upcoming payments and overdue payment that I'm waiting on. Down here below, I can look at my calendar. So I can see here that I have two events scheduled for this week, so I can have quick access to that. Here is a task bar where when I have created automations within HoneyBook, I can create different tasks such as for a wedding, this would be shoot this engagement session, schedule a timeline call, uh, deliver the sneak peeks for the wedding day. So those are different tasks that I have assigned to different projects. And here I can see those. So I have 11 tasks that are due today and then 52 tasks that are due um, just like in the upcoming months. Here's just an overview of different reports and what my lead source of referrals are for this year. Now I'm gonna take you up here to the toolbar now, if I take you here to projects, this is the pipeline of all the different projects that I have going on right now. So I don't have any inquiries. I've replied to all my inquiries. Here's one wedding inquiry that I have replied to that I'm just waiting on a response on. Here are some different projects that I have followed up on, proposals that I've sent, proposals that have been signed and sent back to me. Here are the 18 projects that I currently have in my planning queue, so that are coming up for the future. One that I have already shot that it's just in the post-processing phase. I have two in the album design phase, 44 that I have completed just recently, and then 910 that I have archived archived of projects that I've done in the past. And I can actually click right here to customize this pipeline to add different stages depending on my workflow with my clients. Now I wanna show you how I create a new project. So I just go up here to new, new project, and I can click on this and just create a project name. So if this is a wedding project, uh, a wedding inquiry that I've gotten, so this could be Ashley and Patrick's wedding. What is the project type? It's a wedding. How did I get this referral? Let's say they found me on Google. Let's say their wedding day is, you know, just October 7th. I'm gonna create a project. And then right here, it'll say, is this a new client? And then I can add their information in here so that any emails or questionnaires that I send can be sent to their email, or I can just add them as an existing client if I've had this client in the past. I'm just gonna exit out of this for now, just so I can kind of show you the features within the project. So right here, it says Ashley and Patrick's wedding. If I go down here to details, I can go into more depth about the details of this project, where the location is, if they have a general budget, guest count, just some of my personal notes about the project. Um, actually, this is uh, notes that they could see about the project. And then here are some notes that are more private that I can just add about the project if necessary. Over here, I can click on the activity of this project and there is no activity right now because I have just created this project, but this is where I can send emails back and forth to that client and they will see those on here. So this is just kind of a nice way of keeping all of our messages and communication in one place. If I go over here to files, this is where I can create new files that can be sent to the client. So I can send them a contract, an invoice, or a proposal. A proposal is a 
mix of the contract and invoice. So I'm gonna create a proposal and these are just different templates that I have created. They also have just um, generic templates that you can use if you don't have a template created already. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna create a wedding proposal. I can enter in their information here. I can select what package that they are gonna be using. Let's say they're doing the rose collection. So it just automatically generates this. It adds tax to it. I can add a discount if necessary. Down here, this is the payment schedule. Now I have my payments broken up into three parts. That, the, that is the template that I have saved within HoneyBook. You can make this however you want. So you can have as many payments as possible. You can have a uh, very specific uh, amounts that each payment is, or you can tell them to divide the payments into equal payments. Maybe a percentage is due up front. You can do all of that and customize that here in the template. So page one is the invoice. Page two is the contract and the client can fill all of this out online, which is so nice. Down here at the bottom, they can electronically sign, which is amazing. And then the very last page of this is just them paying. So they can pay either through bank transfer or credit card, they can leave me a tip. And it's just so amazing that it is so easy for the clients. And I had many compliments uh, from different clients on how seamless the whole booking process was. So in addition to sending proposals, contracts, collecting, payments through HoneyBook. I can also create other files like send questionnaires for their pre-wedding questionnaire when I'm getting together their timeline. There is a scheduling feature in here where I can send them the scheduler and they can schedule their own engagement session, bridal session, what have you. So that is all just the different smart file options that you can explore within the projects. I can also go here to payments and nothing is here right now because I haven't sent a proposal to this imaginary client. But once I am well into that process, I can see their payment plan in here as well. Over here on the side, you will see what stage of the client process this client is in. So we're just in the inquiry phase. I can use the time tracker. This is where I can create different tasks or I can add automations. It says, a uh, Participants, participant must be added in order for an automation to be um, created, which is fine. I'll actually show you in a second how I create those automations, but this is basically what the project looks like. Now I'm gonna go back here to tools and show you just some of my other favorite features of HoneyBook. So if I go over here to templates, this is where I create templates for contract, um, questionnaires, emails, uh, the different packages that I offer, um, templates for my contact form, because on my website, I'll show you right here, to my contact form. So on my website, I actually have HoneyBook integrated contact forms. So if they go down here and they click wedding experience, this whole contact form is generated through HoneyBook. So they can fill all this out and then HoneyBook will automatically create a project for this client because they filled out the contact form on my website. And I have different contact forms on here so they can fill out a portrait inquiry contact form. I also have a contact form for education and mentoring that they can fill out. And any client who, potential client who fills out these contact forms, a project will automatically be generated here in HoneyBook, which is so awesome. So I'm gonna go over here to emails. Here are just the different template emails that I have created that I can just automatically uh, put into any email and then personalize it a little bit before sending it off. So I have lots of different emails in here that I've created. It also has just some default emails that are just already in here that you can work off of if you don't wanna be starting from scratch. Here I have all of my packages that I have created. So I have three, three different portrait session packages and then I have four different family session packages that can be selected. And so all of those are in here. Like I mentioned, here are the three different contact forms that I have embedded into my website that I have created in a template in HoneyBook. You can also create gift cards for people, email signatures. If I go up here to Smart Files, I actually love this feature. Smart Files is a new thing that I have started using within HoneyBook. Now, if I go here to, let's go to Portrait Photography Pricing Guide. So this is, I'm gonna go up here to Preview. So this is a, basically a pricing uh, 
file that I have created within HoneyBook that I can send to my clients when they inquire for either a portrait session or a wedding, and it'll send them all, this is basically my pricing page, and it is embedded within HoneyBook. So I have all my information here, a little bit about me, some photos, some reviews, they can view my packages here. And all of this I customized within HoneyBook. They can select and say, oh, I'm interested in this package and that'll get sent to me some more information. Next steps, it talks about just the process of working with me from selecting a package all the way until their gallery delivery and then they can print their photos through their online galleries, how to proceed with booking. So basically all the pricing information and booking information is here in this services brochure that I have created within the HoneyBook templates. I'm gonna go, let's exit out of here. All right, great. So tons of different templates that I have created in here. I'm gonna go back here to the toolbar and we're gonna visit the automations. So remember I said earlier that you can create tasks or automations with each of the projects and it'll basically give you, automations is another way of saying workflow. So you can create a workflow that is basically a checklist with due dates within your different projects that you have set up in HoneyBook. So if I click here on automations, I have two different automation or workflows that I've created within HoneyBook. I'm just gonna go to the wedding workflow right now. And just so you know, if you want to see what my exact wedding workflow is, besides what's here in this video, I have a free download where you can download my exact wedding workflow. It's on my website, I'll link it down below. But here in my wedding workflow, I have that as soon as a client books with me with their wedding, they get sent this welcome email and then this task gets created to get their engagement session scheduled, deliver their engagement session. If they have a bridal session in their package as well, those tasks are created. Down here, it says 120 days before the project date, so before the wedding date, they will get automatically sent. So I don't need to remember to send anything because I can set automations to things where it'll just say, on this day, this email will automatically be sent. And so this questionnaire for their timeline is gonna automatically be sent to them 120 days before their wedding date. And then after that's sent, I'm gonna have a task that's created to schedule a timeline phone call with them. Down here, I have that 90 days before the project date, I wanna make sure I have a second shooter secured for this wedding. Um, one day after the wedding day, I have a photo expectations email that gets sent to them. So this is basically saying, hey, congratulations, you've been married for one day. This is what you can expect from me, like in terms of your sneak peeks and your wedding photos and ordering your album, all that. So this is their, and an automation or automatic email that gets sent to them after the wedding day. So basically you can make this workflow into whatever you need, it needs to be. Some of the steps can be tasks that you can just mark off, like checking them off as you go. Some of them can be automated, such as questionnaires or specific emails that need to be sent out that don't need to be personal emails. It can just be, hey, this, X amount of days before your wedding day, I wanna send this questionnaire and they need to fill it out. Uh, so that automations option within HoneyBook is really awesome. Here you can like look at your calendar of events that you have booked. It'll also include payments. So it's a payment calendar as well. So you can see what payments you have coming up, which is really great. The One of the last features that I wanna look through on here is the scheduler. I love using this scheduling option. It is has made it so easy for putting in my availability and so that clients who are wedding clients that need to schedule an engagement session or a bridal session, they can just go into my schedule and schedule that themselves because they already know my availability. I also offer a scheduling option for anyone who wants to schedule a portrait session with me. They can go in, see my availability, schedule their portrait session. Just makes it so easy and has really cut down on the back and forth of emails of knowing, you know, trying to find out what their availability is, them trying to figure out what my availability is and um, just has made life so much easier. So on here, there are lots of different scheduling options that I have. Like I mentioned, I have a portrait session, scheduling option, engagement session, bridal session. I also have a phone call. So for my clients that need a timeline call before their wedding day, they can schedule that here. For clients who have not booked me for their wedding days yet, they can schedule a 30 minute consultation, which can be booked right here. 
I can put my availability in here for all those events, which is awesome. Oop, let's exit out of that. Let me show you just real quick how to create a new session. So you click here to create a new session. You can say what type of session this is. Is this a phone call? Is this a video session? Is this an in-person like engagement session, portrait session, the title of the session. So here's just some different titles that I've created in the past. How long is the duration of this type of session? What color do you want it to show up on your calendar? Any instructions that you need to be, that need to be sent to the clients after they book this session. So I like to just put in a link to my planning guide that they can access. Um, and you can basically just say what inf whatever information you want in here. This will is an option to automatically send reminders to the client like, hey, you have this phone call coming up or hey, you have this session coming up, which is really great. I can go to availability and I can just set my availability here, select if I need buffer time in between sessions, that kind of stuff. And then the very last thing is the confirmation page where it'll send you, them a confirmation email. And then I can also allow them to reschedule or allow them to cancel on their own. Um, I can also toggle, the, toggle those off as well. And then I can save it. I'm just gonna get out of this right now. Yes, disregard. Let's go back to the scheduler. So here I can actually, I'm gonna show you right here, preview. Let's preview my bridal session calendar. So this is what it looks like on the client side. So it says bridal sessions are 60 minutes, schedule these sessions two hours before sunset. They can look at my availability coming up. They can schedule a time for it, click continue, and then that's where they can put in their information and it will be reserved for them. Let's go back to HoneyBook. So yeah, those are my favorite tools and features within HoneyBook. I hope that was helpful. I have used HoneyBook for so many years. Um, I got into uh, HoneyBook on the ground floor when they very first launched. So I've been using it for a really long time. I love it when they come out with new updates that I can try and just make my client experiment experience so much easier. It has helped with the client management things, side of things, be just so much more organized and seamless, which my clients really love. So if you are interested in HoneyBook, I have a link for you down in the description where you can get a free trial and a discount if you decide to sign up for HoneyBook yourself. So make sure to take advantage of that. And if you have any questions about HoneyBook, make sure to put them down in the comment section down below and I will answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.